And welcome back. AARP is launching a new campaign this week to encourage safe voting in the upcoming elections. Lisa Lampkins is a federal issues advocacy director with AARP Wisconsin. Hey, Lisa. Hi, really happy to be with you this morning. Thank you for joining us. This is such an important topic and we're hearing more and more about it recently. And I wanna know about this new campaign, what you're doing to encourage safe voting um, so that everybody's voice is heard in the upcoming primary and elections. Yeah, we know that people are concerned. They're concerned about, you know, protecting their health during this pandemic, making sure they minimize any risk um, of exposure to the virus. And that's why we're really excited to announce this um, campaign to protect voters 50 plus. It's a comprehensive voter engagement campaign to make sure that people understand their options, whether they're gonna vote you know, from home or vote in person. Um, people still have the ability to make their voice heard. And we want folks to know that they have options and that's what this is really gonna be all about, making sure people can still get out there and cast their votes this election season. So what's AARP's position on this? Why do you see voters age 50 plus, why do you see this demographic as being so important? You know, one of the biggest reasons is kind of the most obvious. Um, older voters show up, they turn out for elections at much higher rates than younger voters do. And at the same time, we're in these, you know, interesting times where older voters are more at risk for um, catching the COVID-19. And so it's really important to us to make sure that people understand they have the ability to cast their vote and still be safe and secure. There are options. The good thing is some of the things that we're talking about um, apply to people of all ages. So this is really helpful information for anyone who wants to make sure their vote is heard and their voice is heard this election. You mentioned something that's very obvious. And when I was thinking about talking to you this morning, I was thinking about the fact that voters age 50 plus, no matter where they fall politically, they're an important group because they've been around longer than, than other people. So they've had generations to see different candidates and different people in the offices where they vote. So it's great to have an older voice and that, that voice of experience, I think. Yeah, you know, I think you're absolutely right. And I, I think what's important is that you know, we talk about the issues that are important to older voters, but the fact of the matter is there are things like health security and financial security, and those are important to people of all ages. Um, and so a lot of stuff that we talk about while we're really elevating the voice of those 50 plus voters, there are things that, that people with families, that people with parents and grandparents all care about. When we talk about absentee voting or voting in person, either one, what are the obstacles that people in this demographic face as they vote here in our state? You know, I think um, a couple of the biggest obstacles right now are that people um, are not planning ahead far enough. And then if they choose to vote um, primarily by absentee, people aren't following the directions they need to follow. So I think one of my biggest tips is for people to start early and plan ahead. You know, we're lucky in Wisconsin, you don't need any excuse to request an absentee ballot. So anyone can vote safely and securely from home. If you're a registered voter, you can request your absentee ballots now, not only for our August 11th primary, but you can put your request in now for the November election and that will get sent to you. Um, we know that there were some challenges with the April elections, much of which was because people didn't plan far enough ahead of time. We've got to allow time um, for mailing to make sure that clerks can mail your absentee ballot to you. You can fill it out um, and make sure that it gets back. So please plan ahead and please follow the directions that are sent with your absentee um, ballot. Along with that, voting systems can be different in, in different communities. So if people check out your websites, your website, can they find information that's specific to the area in which they're going to be casting their ballots? Yeah, you know, it's really important to actually double check what's going on in your local community. Your polling place may have changed because of the pandemic. Um, there may just be different things going around. Some places um, are going to do curbside voting. Some places may have special drop boxes things that you might not have seen in other elections. And we have a terrific resource. It's AARP 
dot org slash WI votes. And you can go to that website and it provides links to everything you need to know about voting safely in Wisconsin. You can find out about voter registration. You can find the information for your local clerk's office, um, which is where you can get you know, tons of information. You can um, find the links to request your absentee ballot, um, plus lots of tips on staying safe so you can cast your vote securely. Lisa, thanks for joining us this morning. Such an important topic, such an unprecedented time in our history. So important that we all make sure our voice is heard. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And here again is that website. You can visit AARP's website to get more information about voting safely. Go to aarp.org slash WIVotes.